big apology. All right, so we're approaching. We're approaching the uh, conclusion of the first parak of Gemara Sukkah. And for the next stop in a bit, it will be dealing with various situations concerning mats and the halachic implications. So first of all, if, if you go, if, if, if uh, Sam goes into the mat business, he can manufacture mats and advertise them as window shades or as floor mats. He could also advertise them as schach mats. Or he could say, I really don't care what my customers do with them. I want to just make a lot of mats. That's one possible issue. Another issue, big mat, small mat. Another issue is how are the mats made? You can sort of slap dash throw mats together by simply weaving the fibers, or you could carefully, um, or you, I'm sorry, by simply braiding the fibers, or you could carefully weave them and make fancier mats. Then there's the issue of the material from which the mat is made. Is it straw? Is it grass? Is it a soft agricultural material? And then there's the, all of these kinds of considerations. And there's all the source of the mat. We know mats from Thailand are used for window shades. We know mats from Tel Aviv are used for schach. As a, as a possibility. So with that background, we'll start the Mishnah and New Testament base. Machseles Kanim Gedoyla, a large mat fabricated from reeds. Asasol Shriva, it had it, were it made? for sleeping on. Remember, they had dirt floors, so they would roll out a mat to sleep on at night. So if you purchase a mat to sleep on, or you get an area mat, because you're tired of making mud every time you have a cocktail in your dining room. So you buy a mat to use as flooring. So such a mat is a Kaylee, it can receive tuma of various types. You're not allowed to use it. You can't repurpose it to be schach. However, if it's made for the purpose of being schach, then it's definitionally not a keili. You can use it as schach. That's the Tanakhama. So he distinguishes between large and small, and he presumes that large are used for flooring and small are designated for schach. Rabbi Eliezer, I don't care, little, big. Also, if it's made for flooring or reclining on, Mikabelis tuma, it's definitionally a keli. It can receive tuma of various types, and you cannot use it for schach, and he does not care about size. However, if it's manufactured for schach, lesikoch, misachach in ba, vienu mikabelis tuma, then you can use it as a sukkah covering, and it is definitionally not a keli. Now, they talk about intent. Both the Tanakama and Rebbe Liezer talk about it was made for schach or it was made for flooring. But we remind ourselves, Sam opened up a, a, a factory to make mats and he had no intent whatsoever except to sell as many mats as he could as quickly as possible. So the Gemara asks that and points out that if you take stam mats into consideration, 
then our Mishnayos, which seem very clear and very simple, are actually very complicated and internally contradictory. Let's see. Ha Gufa Kasha. The, the Mishnah, the Tanakama, is internally contradictory. Amat Asa Lishiva Mikabelis Tuma Vain Misakhinba. He said, if the manufacturer's intent is to use it for flooring, then it is a keli, it's makabal tuma, and you cannot use it for schach. Time the asal shiva. The rationale is because it's used for flooring. Ha stama lasika. So if you only had that one sentence, your inference would be that a neutrally manufactured uh, kale, uh, mat would be determined by the purchaser and he could use it as schach if he felt like it, if it was manufactured neutrally. But then the Tanakhama says, uh, if it's made and it's labeled, a sukkah schach mat, then you can use it for schach. The ain and the kabel is tuma, and it's not mekabel tuma. So what's the rationale? Taima the the aras is so lishach. It was made from being schach. So the implication there is that a neutral mat is not usable. Ha stama lishchiva. So the implication of this. Safer of the Tanakama is that a neutral mat, we presume it was made for sleeping on. So we see that it's a lot more complicated than we thought. We have neutral mats in the ratio being schachable and neutral mats in the safer only being sleepable. Holokasha, that's not a problem. When the Tanakama says the Reisha is talking, oh, it's talking about large mats, area mats. So either you buy it for flooring or you buy it for schach, and a neutral one can be used for schach. Khan, the Katana, in the Sefer, where he says you have to presume it to be a neutral mat to be for reclining on or for a window shade or for a runner for some Kaylee type purpose. He's talking the katana in the safer talking about small mats. So Lakasha. So I accept that explanation if I hold like the Rabbana. El Rabbiliezer Kasha, but for Rabbiliezer it's still a problem. The Tanan, we look at his part of the Mishnah, Rabbi Eliezer, Oimer, Achas, Katana, Viachas, Yedayla, Asas, Olishriva. I don't care if it's big or it's small. The typical mat is for flooring, for sleeping on. And you cannot use it for schach. Taima, the Asas, Olishriva. Because when your guy goes into the mat business, he knows in those days where there were earth floors that his robe of his customers are going to buy him for sleeping purposes. Ha, stama. So according to him, though, if the manufacturer did make it neutrally, he could use it for schach. But Amos Sefer, what about his Sefer? Where he complete he expresses asisolasikoch if it's made for schach, misachach and bavi ain't a mikabelis tuma. It's not a keli. It's not a kabel tuma. Taima the rationale the asisolasikoch because then you say it was made for. He says it was made for floor covering for sleeping on. So has tama leshriva. So I'm for covering on a sukkah. I'm sorry. Oh, stam up. So a neutral mat, you should be able to use for sikuch as a sukkah cover. So he has the same contradiction that Tanakama did. Ella Omar Rava Rava explains begidoila when it comes to very big mats, area rug mat, you know, a multiple carpeting type mats. You can use them kuli almalopligi the stamalisikuch. Everybody agrees 
that unless it's labeled wall-to-wall carpeting mat, you can use it as a schach. Keep pleading. When do they have a dispute, uh, the Tanakama and Revelyahu? The Katana, when it comes to little mats. Tanakama sover stam katana lishriva. He says small mats are to roll out at night and sleep on. Rabbi Eliezer sovar, but Rabbi Eliezer says stam katana nami lesikuch. Even a small mat that is otherwise unspecified by the manufacturer can be used as schach. Turn the page. So now here's how we understand the Mishnah. A very large reed mat. If it's labeled, this is a sleeping mat. It's a keli and it's makabal tuma. You cannot use it on a sukkah. Time to us is because the manufacturer made it to be flooring and sleeping. Hostama, but if you go into Walmart, you just buy a mat and there is no label on it. Nase kamisha asa lesiko. It's considered as if the manufacturer thinks you can do whatever you want with it, and you, when you purchase it, your intent is to use it as skachs. You can use it as a sukkah cover. Now we do this time read the parentheses. Katana But if it's a small mat, it has to be labeled a schach mat, and then you can use it as schach. Timer, the rationale. How small or small? What? How small or small? Big, smaller than big. The I, the, before Shim don't talk about it, but they do talk later a, a mat that you could use as a window shade. So it's considerably smaller. In, in, um, in modern language, it would be the difference between uh, an eight by 10 area rug and a wall to wall carpeting rug, perhaps, perhaps. Because if it's labeled, you can use it for schach. But a neutral mat, would not be labeled for anything. It would be understood it's for sleeping on. The ain misachas and bone, you can't use it as schach. Va'asa Rebbe Eliezer lameimar, and Rebbe Eliezer then comes along and adds, achas ketana v'achas gedayla, I don't care, big or small. Stama, if it's labeled, if it's a totally neutral, it's in the mat department, but it's not labeled. It's usable as schach. I have a problem with that if I went to Hobby Lobby. They're, they're very Christian and they would make it love the shame schach. So there you can't buy anything. I mean, in my opinion, I'm not a posek, but I, I would not let my I wife would. buy wool there. Because every penny that Hobby Lobby makes is used for proselytization of Christian uh, oh, yeah. and oh, yeah. stuff. I mean, the guy is an off the wall from me, Christian. Okay. Amalei Abaya. Abaya says, I like that very much, he says. But the problem is the text doesn't support it. Ihachi. If Rebbe Eliezer is coming along to just say small mats and big mats are similar, why does Rebbe Eliezer say, Rebbe Eliezer, Omer, achas ketana v'achas gedayla. If you go back to the Mishnah, the Tanakama started with a big mat. So if Rebbe Eliezer is sort of adding on to the Tanakama, he'd have said a big mat, a small mat. He'll the parallel language. Rebeliezer Achas Ketana the Achas Kedola. Rebeliezer says small or big. Achas Kedola the Achas Ketana Maboile. 
He should have said big and small. So clearly he disagrees with the Tanakama in a more fundamental way. But furthermore, what is their dispute? They argue indeed about big mats. Rabbi Eliezer Lechumra and Rabbi Eliezer among the two, the Tanakam and Rabbi Eliezer, he's the Prumi. The Sanya, because we have another Brysa that says, Machat Selas Akanim, if you have a reed mat. If it's very big, you can use it as Chach. Rabbi Eliezer Oimer, Im Eina Mechabelis Tuma only. If it's not makabel tuma, in other words, only if it was intended to be used as schach, mesachik and po, you can use it. So you see, Rebbe Eliezer is fundamentally not in agreement with the Tanakam. So we need Rav Papa to clarify and explain. Ella Oma Rav Papa. Katana, when it comes to little mats, five by eight mats, I don't know, whatever small mat. Uh, Sid is willing to accept. Mm-hmm. Everybody agrees that if you buy a small mat, you intend to roll it out in the evening and sleep on it so you don't get all muddy. What do they argue about? Only they argue about very large mats. Tanakama sover stam he says the big mats, if they're neutrally manufactured, they don't have a designated purpose and you could use it for schach. He says, no, I don't care how big the mat is. The normative use of a normal mat is for sleeping on. So why does he actually mention if it's made for reclining, this is what he wants to say. Neutral, just met Sam's Nats in Walmart are made for reclining on. Unless he makes a special run with a hashkacha that's for using as schach. Okay, now we're going to go weiter and talk about mats and using them for schach. And we're going to talk about not every single mat in the history of the universe is made out of reed material. There are other plants that have long, thin leaves, uh, like palm trees, for example. There are various plants. Now, frankly, I do not know what the next two plants are because they just use the Aramaic words. But we're talking about additional kinds of no longer reeds, okay? Tana Rabbanan, we have a brysa. Machatzeles shall shifa, made out of shifa. Vishal gemi, or shall gemi. And the Mephoshim say these are much softer than regular reed mats. We don't care. Even though they're nice, soft mats, maybe they cost more. If they're big, you can use them for, for sukkah covers. But if they're small, it's like somebody buying 1,000-count sheets instead of 500-count sheets, and you can only sleep on them. Shalkanim to uh, back to cane reed mats or some other rather rough vegetative material, contrasting these to the softer ones. Gedoyla mesachachin bub, big ones you can use for schach, period. Now, there are different manufacture techniques as well. Aruga and mesachachin bub. If it's woven, if it's a beautiful, expensive woven mat, you can't use it for stock. Rabbi Yishmael, Rabbi Yossi, Omer Meshumaviv, we had him before, Rabbi Yishmael, the son of Rabbi Yossi, quotes his father, 
If you can afford a big, beautiful, soft mat, you could use it for schach, I don't care. And if you can't, you could buy a crummy, cheap mat, you could use that for schach too. And this is a very important line. Reb Yaisa agrees with Reb Yaisi. And we're going to see that's going to complicate life for us in a minute. Tanan Hasam, we learn in the Mishnah and Idios. Kol hachot solos metamin tuma meis. Achot solos, we don't know, we do not know what the word means. We're going to have a machloikis in a few seconds as to what the word means. But the Mishnah there teaches us that it's a keli. And it can be Makabal Tumas Mes. Divre Rebdaisi. And this is Rebdaisi's opinion, who just told us it doesn't matter if it's a mat like thing. I don't care if it's expensive. I don't care if it's cheap. If it's Gedule uh, Karka, you can use it for Schach. Vachachamim Omrim, Medras. The Chachamim says it's Makabal Tumas Medras. Now, Tumas Medras is a special Tuma. Only things that are made for sitting on or lying on can, uh, can get Tumas Medras. Now, that's a more narrow Tuma. So it is actually impossible for something to be susceptible to tumas medras and not be susceptible to other tumas with, for which we use the global term tumas tumas meis. So the Gemara says medras aims um, tumas meis low. How can the rabbi say it's only for tumas medras? That's an impossibility. How can you have one without the other? Vo anan tanan, we have a Mishnah that proves what I just said. Call hametame medras metami tumas meis. Anything that can be makabal tumas medras, meaning it's a pillow or anything, or something or a chair, something like that, or our sleeping mat, something like that, can also be metame me. It has to be able to be tumas meis because it's a kelu. So the Gemara says, you're right. The Mish that rice or that Mishnah has got a flaw in it. The Chachamim said it's we extend the Tuma of uh, Tumas Meis and include Tumas Medras. So now we have a clue. A Chotzalos has something to do with lying or sleeping or sitting on. So the, but meanwhile, neither of us, not I, not you, not Art Scroll, knows what the word Chotzalos means. So Gemara wants to know, my chutzelis. I don't want to put it on my sukkah and find that I couldn't. What is it? So the Gemara comes along and Omar of Abdimi Bar Hamduri, he says it's a mart sovle. Oh, that clarifies it completely, right? Everybody in the room, hold up your hand if you know what that means. Their being no hands will go right there. My Martsoble. Okay, what are Martsoble? Oma Revava. Revava comes along and says they're Masbele. Now, Masbele, we're going to see, has a Masbele is usually, but not always, made of leather. It's like a duffel bag. Okay, it has a clear base keeble and you can uh, string. It doesn't have zippers in those days, but a string, you can pull it taut and keep your stuff in it. Rav Shimon ben Lekish, Oimer machzolos mamish. No, they're actual mats. So, and the Mephoshim explained that whether it's a duffel bag or it's a medium sort of size mat, the shepherds would fold them over and hold, if it was a mat, and hold their stuff in it. 
because they were out in the pasture for weeks with the sheep. Or if it's a duffel bag, they'd open the drawstring, put their stuff in and close it up. But once in a while, if a shepherd could sneak off and hop a snooze, he would use it as a pillow. And that's why the Rechachamim say that is enough using to be put your body on that we can say it's macabre to mismedris. Okay, but Reb Shimon says, no, it's taka real mat. The, the oz, the Reb Lekesh, the timer. Reb Lekesh sticks to his own logic. The Omer Reish Lekesh, Reish Lekesh tells us a Misa now, and toward the end, it'll come back to what we're talking about. But Reish Lekesh says, Harini Kapara Reb let my life serve to be an atonement for Reb and his kids. Why? Here's why. There was a time back in history where the Jews forgot significant chunks of Torah, and I believe this to be too many Torah questions. Chazara. I'm sorry, Allah Ezra mi Babel, the Yista. Ezra came from Babylonia and he talked to Jews in, that remained the remnant in Eretz Israel, these missing dinim. But they forgot them again. Allah Hillel Hababli, the Babylonian Hillel came. The Yistan, they he retaught those dinim. Chazra vinish tacha, they forgot him again. Now, Allah Rebbe Chia Banav, so Rebbe Chia and his family came from Israel. No, we just did Hillel. We're, you're lying behind. We're now up to Rebchi and his sons came, the third restoration. The Yistua, and he reestablished it. The, so that's why he says, I'm, you know, I should be a kapara for them. I'm very impressed with them. The Chainami Rebchi Ubanov, and here's what Rebchi and, and his Sid said. They were Bakiyim in Tuma and Tahira. And they reestablished all these rules and they made a very interesting statement. No, lo nechlecha rabdosa v'chachamim. Our rabdosa does not disagree with the chachamim. If you get a mat from Usha, he agrees with the chachamim that you can use it as schach. Shehen. I'm sorry, that you cannot use it as schach. Shehein tumas, they can be macabre tuma. Now, mats from Tiberia. Michelle Tiberia, Shehein Tahiros, they are not Kalim, they cannot be macabre tuma. And you can use them for schach. So where do they argue? Alma, Nechlechu, what do they argue about? Al Shar Mekaimos. Matt's from Tel Aviv. Matt's from Pittsburgh. Matt's from Sam's factory in Thailand. Mar Sova Rabdaisi holds Kaven de Leka de Yasivalaihu. Since hardly nobody sits on them, they're not designated for Shriva, and you can use them for Schach. Okay, kid Tiberia Damya. So we'll say they're in the category of Tiberian mats. Umar Salvar, that the Chachamim say, Kevan de Mikre Viesve Elihu, but there is that guy Schwartz who insists on sitting on it. There are a few people who'd still sit or sleep on mats. 
right? Kitausha damya. So we have to put other mat factories in the usha category and say that their the default position is their kalim and you can't use them for skach. So how do you tell the difference? You look at the made in China label. How do you know if it doesn't have a label? The same something that looks similar to like all the other mats. Then that's a machlokes. That's the whole problem. Do you, uh, it, but this is a all right. So if you're asking, can I walk into Walmart and buy a mat and put it on my sukkah? I would tell you, suffek the raisa lechumra. So unless it has a hechsher today, you can't use it as a mat. Correct. I'm sorry, but Gemara is talking about. The Gemara is an intellectual discussion. It's not a book of halachas. For that, you got to go to the Shulchan Aruch. Okay. So, if you're interested, I would argue that Suffolk Uraisa, Sukkah and Deraisa, take it in. So, mats, unless you're absolutely sure they're usable, meaning they have a star K Hechsheranum, that you can't use it. That's what I would tell you. But I'm let's worry about something else. I'm worried, I'm guessing why I see this guy using this mat. So don't accept his dinner invitation. Right. Don't forget that. Remember okay. I mean, don't forget that I don't eat anywhere. Appearance has it and a, a lot of people look at a point of appearance. If this guy can do it, I can do it. That is a big problem. Exactly. So I, you know, once upon a time, the Gemara would say, "Go out and see how people behave." That's correct. Exactly. But in our world, go out and see how people behave and do it the other way. You're probably in good shape. <laughs> but all right, whatever. All right. So let's. Could we just finish up the Gemara, please? Omar Mar, the the the, the, the master. We don't know who he is yet. Call Hakotzolos. Metamin tome makes. If it is a chotzala, so it's either a, has a base kibble or it gets folded over and they use it to schlep stuff, like you roll up a rug to carry out the dead body in, that is makabel tumas meis divre rebi dosi. And that's the view of Reb dosi. Weiter. We have a Brysa that argues with that. We just had a little while ago that Reb Dosi agrees with Reb Yossi, who was more Meikil, and has said that if it's reed or sage, if it's made, made from plant material, if it's woven, if it's braided, if it's big, if it's small, if it's cheap, if it's expensive, if it's stam, you can use it for stock. That was what he said. Now he says differently. Lokasha, not a problem. Ha, the isle god Okay. You will notice, like on a sheet, you get to the edge of the sheet, the cloth is folded over and it's sewn. It has a hem. Now, with mats also, they can fray. So the better mats or the mats that are used for flooring or for window shades are folded over and sewn. So if you stretch out this folded over mat, you'll see that there's like a lip around it. So effectively it has a base keyboard and it's definitionally a Kaylee. So the reason that Ribdosi seems to contradict himself if it has a lip, a rim, a hemming, then it's a keli and it's makabal tuma. Ha the lesle gidanfa, but if it's an unhemmed mat, then it's not a keli because by that that would be a tip off. Because if the manufacturer wants to use it to roll it out every night as a mat, it will relatively rapidly fray. So he puts a hem around it to keep it to, in good shape longer. And that, so if it's no hem, not a keili, use for schach. With a hem, 
It's a keli. You can't use it for schach. That sounds good, but the rabbis are not happy. Meisve. They challenge Reish Lekish as follows. Chutzolos. Remember our famous chutzolos. Shel sha'ab, which are made from one plant material. Shel gemi. Those are the two soft plant material. The shel sak. Sak is usually translated burlap. In those days, it was made from goat hair, which is very coarse. The shell sephira. Sephira are the long hairs on a horse's mane, which are relatively soft. You could cut them off. You could make a mat out of them. All of those. Metame, Thomas Mace. What are, any of these things are all considered Kaylee and can be Makabal Tuma, Divrei Rebdaisa. That's Rebdaisa, seems to be now taking a new position. It also is so much a Kaylee that people would actually sleep on it. And it's also Makabal Tuma's Madras. So, Bishlom and Lamanda Omer Marzovle. According to the opinion that they are the shepherd's duffel bags, shall sham shall gemi chazulechin so de peire, and may, those made from softer materials which would not hold up out in the field as a duffel bag. If you made it out of a pillowcase, you wouldn't make it to Afghanistan before it fell apart. So those can be used to gather fruit in an orchard. You can throw your apples in the uh, soft cloth bag. Shall sach the shell sephira, if they're made out of burlap or out of horse hair, kazu legulke of a sane. They're usable as various carrying things. I mean, I don't know. The, 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 they translate it well, pouches and sacks. It's like you have a two suitor and you have a carry on. You can use them to put clothing in. Okay. And therefore, they're all Kalim. And Rip Doisy says they can be Mikabal Tuma. Ella Lamanda Omar Machzalas Mamish. But what about Rich Lekish? You said they're some real mats. Right? Bishlama shall sock the shell, Sifira, Chazul, Lepore, say, the Naf, Vaso. They can be used as window shades or as sieves. Yeah, you would take a coarse woven fabric and you'd make a pouch out of it and you'd fill it with flour and then you'd shake it. And it would be like a rain of sifted flour. That's what they did. So there you have utilization, and they're clearly K. Lemon the Namakabutula. Ah, Ella shall sham shall gemi. But what are you going to do with this soft material uh, objects? Lamai Chazu, what could you use them for that they should be able to be Makabutuma? Chazel Lenaz Yosa, a beer brewer. He has a big vat, and the vat has grain in it, and water in it, and yeast in it, and he wants to brew beer. It takes a couple of weeks. So if he has the vat sitting in the middle of his warehouse, there's going to be the, the guy Swift Schwartz is going to get in. So you can take. Uh, soft fabric and you can put it over the vat to keep the dirt out like your wife when she bakes challah takes a dish towel and puts it over the dough as it rises so therefore it's also a keli it's like a dish towel now ikadamri others explain the whole thing just a bit differently according to Reish Lekesh who says that their actual mats shall sham shall gemi chazulin nazioso? 
Those are usable to cover the beer vats. Shall sock the shell, sefira, chazu, leporse, naf, vaso. They can be used for curtains and for sifting flour. El Elamanda Omer Marzuble, but according to the one who says they're duffel bigs. Bishlama shall sock the shell sephira, chazu le gulke tzane. Those can be used as various kinds of bags to carry things in. Ella shall sham the shell gami. What about the sham and gami bags? Lamai chazu, what can you do with them? Chazu lekin sedpere. You can take them with you into the orchard and put the apples in them. Okay. We're wrapping it up now. Tanya, we have a new brysa that talks about various mats. Omar Rav Hananya, Rav Hananya says, Kishi Yordati Lagoyla, when I literally descended into the exile. In other words, I moved from Israel to Babylonia. Motsosi Zaken Echon, I ran into an old man. The Omarli, and the old man told me a halacha, Mesachachen Bebudya. Budya is an Aramaic word for mat. You can use any mat you like, he said, as schach. O kishabosi etzel, Rebbe Yeshua, achiyabo. So, but when I arrived at my uncle Yehoshua's house, and I said to him, you know, I learned all these Gemaras, and they made a difference, big, small, Lip, no lip. What do you do? What's the deal? And this old man says, you can use anything. Hold the devaro. My uncle says, I agree with him. Not so fast. On the Rav Chista. Rav Chista explains who the last leg gone to fall. That's if it's not clearly a Kaylee, like, for instance, it has a hem. Okay? So just stam a mat with a ragged edge, you know, you could maybe use for sach. Oimer ula, honey, bedusa, the bene mechaisa. I happen to know that in the city of mechaisa, they make gorgeous mats, extraordinarily beautiful. And I, al mole kirshalahan, except for the fact that they hem them. I would love to use them as sach, but they have hems, Nebuch. Tanya Nami Hachi, we have another Bryce that also says, you may use a mat if it does not have a simon of being a keli. You cannot use them as sach. Hadrin Allah Sukkah. Okay. So what happens if someone takes off the mat, a kosher mat with a big hat show on it, and decides to sleep on it? Then he made it into a keli, and he can't put it back up. No. You cannot repurpose. You asked me that once before. Um, you're not going to trick me. I told you you can't repurpose. It's a gabai. That's it. It's a gabai and a lady. 